My name is Luke Payson with MMA Fancast. Please like and subscribe to the channel so you can see other great interviews like the one we've got right now. Yes, I'm at the 247 Fighting Championships Brawl in the Berg 19 closing out end of the year event with winner Elijah Davis. Elijah, talk to me about that fight you took on your your most talented opponent to date by far. A guy who was four and one, had a lot of skills. You were coming in the fight three and one. You ended up dominating the fight. It went back and forth a little bit, but you really showed massive improvement. What was it like being able to put on that level of performance tonight? This fight was a lot of what I expected. This is a high pace, high velocity fight. Um, you're getting in there with Jimmy Fadfong, you know, a guy who's 5'3". I expected him to come at me and try to close the distance really quickly. And that's uh, kind of what he did. Uh, he landed a, a few uh, overhand punches that uh, got my attention really quickly. I, uh, he actually dropped me in the first round. And I got myself back up and composed and was able to use my jab to kind of configure my game plan over again. And it was, it, it was a great experience for me being able to get in there with, with a guy who is a little bit higher level. I mentioned to Ryan earlier that this felt like like an updated version of my Joe LaRocca fight. And, oh, uh, sure. You know, after the fight, you yeah, could definitely uh, say that that was definitely a, a true statement there, that uh, this guy was definitely an updated version of that. And uh, he gave me a lot to work with and a lot to look at after this fight that I could hopefully work on and uh, you know, get ready for the next opponent. Well, and that's the great mindset to keep going, you know, that you've showed a lot of skill tonight, and now you're going to be able to improve. Uh, you talked in the post-fight interview in the cage about what it means to you to have the Matt Factory, not only as for the coaching, but also for the support, the encouragement, and how they become your family role models, things like that. What's that like headed into Christmas next week? What's it like to look back and see your family, the Matt Factory, and, the, you know, the changes you're making in your life? You got guys like you know Justin Patton, Matt Schaefer, you know, uh, you, you know, uh, you know, even Bobby, you know, mm, sure. Edwin Vera. These are guys that check on you on your daily life, and not just uh, you know what you're doing in the practice room. And uh, you make sure you got your head on right. And you know, people who come from different backgrounds who could, you know, at least make an attempt to understand where you came from. It means a lot to me. You know, you know we get texts every day, you know, wondering like how you doing, how's your weight, you know, how you feeling, you know, what's your head like. You know, that means a lot for me, and uh, I just hope that I'm able to offer the same type of support that these guys offer me, you know, day in and day out. Well, I'm sure you do. It's been an honor to call a lot of your fights. Thanks for coming on. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to your family. Thanks Merry so Christmas much. to y'all, and Happy New Year.